Hey everyone, I'm Alenix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So I'm unable to play Halo or make Halo videos at the moment where I'm actually playing Halo because I don't have Wi-Fi yet. But I will be getting Wi-Fi soon and when I do, I'll start making proper Halo videos again. But today, I'm just going to be doing like a Halo Infinite discussion video thing where I'm going to be talking about some of like the recent screenshots that have come out with Halo Infinite. Since there is actually quite a bit of stuff that's like come out and stuff about Halo Infinite that I haven't talked about because of the floods and stuff and I am sorry about that. Also, I'm sorry if the Unity tutorials I've been uploading lately aren't really your type of content either, because I do understand that you all subscribe for Halo videos, and when I just start randomly making Unity videos, you know, <laughs> that's sort of weird, so I get that. But I will be making more of them, because I do actually like making them, so be aware of that. And so how about we talk about Halo Infinite today? So first off, uh, there is this new screenshot or some new screenshots I should say that were taken on the PC version of the game, here they are. Basically it's like in a Forerunner type building, it gives off some real Halo 4 vibes here. You know that mission, I forget what it's called now, but it's shut down, yeah, shut down. So on the mission shut down you have to go into these like Forerunner uh, buildings that are flying in the sky or something, or maybe they're just really, really tall. So anyways, you go into them. And you have to, like, you know, do stuff. You know, like, I remember what you have to do, but I can't really describe it well. Like, you have to go do, like, shoot a forerunner, bunch of forerunner cores or something. These, like, sphere things. Yeah. Something like that. And anyways, this building looks like that from that. And also, the visuals look really, really good, too, compared to how Halo Infinite looked in... July of 2020, because as you all know, we got a trailer in July of 2020 of Halo Infinite. It was like a gameplay trailer, right? And it was announced maybe a year before then. I think it was a year before then they announced that Halo Infinite would be released in December of 2020. And you know, that's what we all thought. Oh, hell yeah, 2020 release date for Halo Infinite. And then the July gameplay comes around and all of a sudden a lot of people are disappointed in how the game looks. You know, how, yeah, just just certain elements of the game people are disappointed about. Like, the gameplay people were saying is great, but the visuals people were disappointed with. Now, in my opinion, I thought the game looked great even back then. The visuals were astounding. I think I was watching it at 1080p, 60fps on my Xbox when I was first watching the trailer and it looked really, really good even at 1080p, 60fps. I think I even tried putting into 4K 60fps even though I only had a 1080p screen at the time. And even then the fidelity of the video had gone up quite a bit at 4K and yeah, it looked amazing. The game did look amazing back then but now... Uh, if you compare these two screenshots, right, here's a screenshot from the gameplay trailer from back then, and here's the recent screenshot now. If you compare them both, the recent one definitely looks a lot better. As you can see, they've made redesigns to the assault rifle as well. And yeah, they've, they've really bumped up the visuals for Halo Infinite, and this is the PC version we're looking at here. I must uh, also remind you of that as well. This is the PC version, and most likely the graphics settings are turned up all the way up here. I don't know if ray tracing is being used, however. It could be, it might not be. To be honest, it doesn't really look like it. That's for you guys to guess. So since these are probably max PC settings, what we would be seeing in the July 2020 version would be the, that's the Xbox Series X version. But I don't think the game's still going to look like that on the Xbox Series X. It's definitely going to look very, very similar to the PC. In fact, it will probably match the PC in visuals. I think, you know, the PC might have that bit of higher fidelity and graphics, but I think everything else should match up on the Xbox Series X. 
and also PC will probably have better ray tracing as well, since PC is more customizable for that, you know, Xbox Series X <clears throat> will probably not have as good ray tracing as PC, because there are a lot more powerful options on the PC. Also, there has been other stuff which has been shown as well, and I'm probably not going to talk about it in this video because I can't really remember it. I should have looked over it before recording this video. I'm sorry, guys, but um, anyways, you have probably seen it all yourselves. Also, recently, there's been like a new brute designs shown here, which actually look pretty cool. So here, the, here's those. I don't really know what to say about them right now since, like, I don't have the images actually here right in front of me. Uh, my computer's off right now, and if I stop recording, if I go off my phone screen right now, I don't know if the voice recording's going to stop or not. I mean, you know what, I'm actually going to test it. I uh, know, it actually, it actually does keep on recording, but let's actually search up them Halo Infinite Brute Screenshots. Oh yeah, and that reminds me too, um, whilst I'm trying to find this image of the Brute, there's actually been a new vehicle announced, which you guys have probably heard about. It's called the Razorback. It's like a more bigger version of the Warthog. It reminds me of a Scout Warthog. I've got the image right in front of me right here, right now. That's why uh, I just started talking about it, because I just saw it and I'm like, oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that, the Razorback. See, guys, that's what I mean when I say I'll probably forget certain things to talk about in this video because if I didn't see this image right here right I would have probably forgotten about this but yeah so anyways the Razorback looks really cool and it's probably going to function like a scout hog I would say since that's what it looks like and yeah it'll be cool to see how this works out in the game also I'm so sorry if you guys can hear really really loud uh, driving in the background um, for some reason cars that drive along and along this road are so loud it is ridiculous at night the sounds are just amplified by a hundred so if you notice that my voice is being like sort of dampened uh, that's probably because of the noise of cars in the background yeah they're really loud here so anyways, um, here's that brain, I mean, brain, sorry, here's that brute screenshot I was talking about, uh, you guys would have already just seen it before, because I already would have just shown it, but anyways, here it is again, it looks really, really cool, uh, to me it looks like they've redesigned the brute's face, so I don't think we're going to have any Craig looking brutes now, um, as you can see, the face looks really detailed there, in general, this brute looks very detailed. I don't think any textures have been applied, because as you can all tell, it looks a bit uh, low poly and cartoony. I mean, obviously it's not low poly, but it just gives off that low poly look because there's no textures on it. So it's just like materials and stuff like that. As you can see, it's got all the shine to it. So yeah, this is just the materials without the textures. Now, I'm not sure what this brute's name is. Um, on this article I'm reading here, I think it will show it. So there's these names here, Hyperius and Tavaris, so I'm guessing that they're two new brutes in the game. Uh, I'm not sure who this one is here that I've just shown you all, if it's Hyperius or Tavaris, but yeah. Oh, so I think that this right here is Hyperius that I'm showing you all, so this is Hyperius. And then, oh wait a second, there's something I just noticed. See on Hyperius, guys. On his left shoulder pad, right, there's Locke's helmet there. That there is Agent Locke's helmet, because I just saw on this article that I'm reading, right, it said, is that Locke's helmet on their shoulder? And I just remembered there was this um, Halo Infinite Brute figurine that I was talking about maybe, say, um, a couple months ago. It was probably a few months ago, right? I was talking about this Halo Infinite uh, Mega Blocks Brute. And it was this same one here, so this is Hyperius, that Mega Bloks Brute that we saw, right? And he has Agent Locke's shoulder pad on his arm, so this is that same Brute. I mean, not Agent Locke's shoulder pad, sorry, his helmet. So, what's happened to Agent Locke? Has he died? Is he still alive? Who knows? But I guess we're going to have to find out in Halo Infinite. So now here we have Tavaris. The so Tavaris here looks really cool, I really like the armor design on this. And the article even mentions as well that 
the uh, brute does look very Craig-ish, and I do have to admit it does, so in case you don't know what Craig is, it's basically this meme that started uh, after the first Halo Infinite gameplay trailer came out, and this image was getting shared around. That's probably what they've based this character off, because I'm pretty sure 343 did say they were going to make a uh, character of Craig in the game after the meme was so viral, and I think this might be that character they were talking about, so here's Tavaris, and uh, yeah, looks really, really cool. And also there's this um, weapon here as well, I forget what it's called, the Scrap Cannon, so here's the Scrap Cannon, this is a new weapon that will be in Halo Infinite, but yeah, so anyways guys, uh, there's not really much else to talk about, I just want to talk about some Halo Infinite related stuff today, since I haven't made a Halo video in a while. And, uh, yeah, this has actually turned out to be longer than I thought it would, but I guess that's a good thing because now I have more to work off of. And, yeah, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and this, like, discussion. Uh, if you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you all next time. Uh, be sure to play my games as well. I actually made one recently called Reinforcements Evolved. Uh, go buy it on Itch.io. It's only a dollar. Or you can even try out the demo if you want. So anyways, see you all next time. Bye-bye.